go. Buenos dias. Good afternoon. Uh, guten Abend. And for those who don't know, I am Reaper Strain 006 here to do Ace Combat 5 The Unsung War. Now I'm going to shut up and let the intro play for a bit, and then I'll continue talking on. Across that ocean is Murska Air Base. That's Yuktabanian territory. But haven't we been allies with the Yukes since the war 15 years ago? Nagase, you keep flying like that and you'll die real soon. I won't die, sir. You're flying number two on my wing. Gotta keep an eye on you or who knows what you'll get yourself into. legend too. Look at that wreckage. I'm amazed they're still making them like this. They? Who's this they you're referring to? Rosgreaves, the demon from the world of fairy tales. Captain, do you believe in the demon of Rosgreaves? The demon from the North Sea. I've never seen a stupid fairy tale come true like this. It appears you're up against Rosgreaves itself out there. Okay, and I have to mute it there because uh, copyright issues. So, but anyway, this is the uh, the rest of the intro video is just uh, them playing the song "Blurry" by Puddle of Mud, and it's a really good song. By the way, if you want to check it out, you know you can on other channels. But since I don't own the rights to the uh, actual song, I can't really play it. I know it sucks, but that's how it goes sometimes. <clears throat> But anyway, uh, with Ace Combat 5, this is a game I really, really love to play. You know, back in the day, I used to play this thing forever. I have like over, I think, I don't know, maybe like 5,000 kills or something in this game. So I used to be a, what you call it, an ace, as it were. But uh, this game is really fun to play, and it is the sequel to Ace Combat 0, The Belkin War which was set in 1995. This game is actually set in the year 2010, which is 15 years later after the events of the uh, first uh, Belkan conflict. You know, it, it's not, you know, well, but anyway, I'm just going to hit, uh, turn the volume back up, and I'm going to press start. And since this is an old game, <clears throat> I'm going to do the uh, SP new game. It's in English. And I'm going to do it on normal difficulty, which I did the Belkin War on. Fifteen years ago, there was a war. And they just go right into it. Well, war has broken out here plenty of times before. They've tried to invade the Southlands through the Northern Valley time and time again. Luck was never on their side, though. And their victories didn't last long. They didn't realize that times had changed. Facing one defeat after another, losing territory and watching their nation dwindle, they built up their industrial strength to unprecedented heights and used it to wage one final battle against the world. That was 15 years ago. 
Cypher and Pixie. Sorry about this. The captain's apology to me seemed misplaced. One instructor had survived the fight but crashed on landing. The other one was killed in action high up in the clouds. It wasn't his fault that the unidentified aircraft fired on us without warning. Nor was it his fault that the low altitude area where he sent his trainees was directly in front of the enemy. Eight people died because the command room had misplaced some zeros. That pilot in the number seven was amazing. Did you see her fight back? I couldn't bear to watch. Nagase, you keep flying like that and you'll die real soon. I won't die, sir. The only surviving trainee's voice was almost a whisper. Are you sure? You look like you couldn't hurt a fly. Her face was pale, but she still managed to smile a bit for the camera. The photo, along with my camera, was confiscated by base security. It was as if our little undeclared war never happened. I came to cover this remote island because I heard that a very unique squadron leader was stationed here. I didn't realize he was this unique, though. This bad-mouthed, good-natured old firebrand could take the greenest of rookies and forge him into a fearsome fighter pilot. Of course, that possibility vanished with the day's encounter. The only crew he had left now were Second Lieutenant Nagase and the few pilots that happened to be on the ground that day. <sighs> I know you don't like this, but we're short on people. Starting tomorrow, all you nuggets are going to be sitting alert. We launch, stay glued to me up there. Nagase? Sir. You're flying number two on my wing. Gotta keep an eye on you, or who knows what you'll get yourself into. Thank you. 
and duty dress feed west towards the ocean. Intercept this target and force it to land for identification. Do not fire upon this aircraft until further orders are transmitted. Okay, seems simple enough. Just fly out, meet the plane, try to uh, parlay, and uh, that's it. Simple, alright? See Bandit. She looks like she's at hard three. Gotcha, sir. <laughs> Motor mouth. Said 15 years ago. Alright, it's a new fighter wing formation. Gotcha. Alright. Ah oh, man, on a combat spirit too. Charging in.
Students at a thousand feet. Ooh, that's what's up here. Oh shit. Man, this plane sucks. <laughs> yeah? This plane kinda sucks though, but yeah. Getting too close to the border. Come on, wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. Uh. Emergency transmission from Central. To all Sand Island base personnel. They don't read it like in uh, zero. The whole affair with the unidentified aircraft was covered up. There was even a rumor going around that it was actually a UFO. Officially, the world was still at peace. Having witnessed the battle myself, I wasn't allowed to leave the island. Why do they even bother reprimanding me anymore? I know I'm going to be stuck at Captain forever. Who do you think's covering up the battle? Listen, the only thing across that ocean is Murska Air Base. That's Yuktabanian territory. But haven't we been allies with the Yukes since the war 15 years ago? Yeah. That's why we got people working their asses off trying to confirm what the hell's going on over there. I bet they've got hotlines ringing off the hook somewhere upstairs. The government doesn't want to get the public riled up with all this, you know? But it doesn't matter. Soldiers like us are too stupid to think for ourselves, so we just gotta keep our mouths shut when they tell us to. I feel kinda bad for you, actually. <laughs> it's alright. I get to be with you guys. Captain's probably hating this more than anybody. Hmm? He used to have a lady friend over in York to Bonnie, huh? Oh, snap. Uh, that's just an old war wound now. Bet it is. Alright, so that's going to do it for the first video because it's approaching 20 minutes. So I'm just going to cut it loose here and uh, pick it back up with the second mission. Alright, this game... Like I said before, it's uh, one of my favorites to play, so, but it used to be one of my favorites to play, not the far I switched over to PS3, this is on PS2. And the control I'm using, <clears throat> as I said before in the, um, thing, Dark and War series, is that these, um, this controller is not the primary controller that came with the actual console, it is a, an aftermarket controller. So the responsive responsiveness of it isn't as spot on as I'd like, and it's not you know it's not the default control that came with the console. You no, know, the default control is like you know actually it's like the best control you can get, you know, because it's it's guaranteed to work, you know, with everything, for everything and for every type of situation you get into while gaming. So, 
but aftermarket controllers are kind of you know you know so so you know you may find a good controller you may not find a good controller it just depends on the brand you get which is uh, I got uh, have a Sony PS2 controller so I tried to you know get as close to the you know default controller as I could but you know sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but uh, I think I've taken up enough of your time this is our strain aka Reaper strain 006 saying you can like favorite subscribe share do whatever you have to to promote the video and its content uh, I have other videos up too if you want to check those out but um, serious uh, another note serious wise I like to do a series you know like a lint like in a straight line so if I do like ace combat it'll be like just ace combat throughout and if I I probably won't switch to, switch off to another series because I don't want to get the uh, you know uploads confused because right now um, what I'm working with is uh, it's kind of a complicated setup for a webcam <laughs> Because right now every USB port on my computer is like just filled with something. So I'll just do a series that like, you know just straight out, like from like beginning to end. And if I run into any problems, like any copyright issues, like with uh, music and stuff, I'll just like mute it. You'll see me actually mute it, and so you won't actually hear um, maybe a piece of conversation that you know is being played over while the music's playing. Or if I'm playing a game that has like copyright music in it, you know, I'll probably just like, uh, like Red Theft Auto, I'll probably just turn the stereo off, radio off in the cars. So, you know, just, just, just a heads up. Alright, this is our strength saying, see you when I see it. Peace.